Ken Jennings, the most winning guy on Jeopardy ever. Millions of dollars will play Fred in Jeopardy. This is the guy who won, I, what is it? It's like over $2 million. Jeez. It's a remarkable amount of money. Look at this guy. Genius. I mean it. I watched you on Jeopardy. My father worships you. That's what everybody tells me. Yeah, like, the, uh, the old my, man. My, my grandma loves you, man. You won $3.1 million? Something like that. Isn't that amazing? It's crazy, right? I'll give you 5000 wow. if you beat Fred. I don't think Fred stands a chance against you. Every time I listen to this segment, Fred, like, wins handily. So I'm yeah. pretty nervous. But he ain't playing you. <laughs> Fred, do you think you have a chance in any of this at all? Not a snowball chance in hell. All right. Well, let's try it. What do you say? I'm going to give it a shot. And what the hell? For five grand, why not? Well, put Fred in the isolation booth. We'll let Ken answer the questions first. Seven questions. Okay. All right. Uh, I assure you Fred has not seen them because we know the rules. You can't... Uh, you know, you can't tell. And, and these questions were decided upon by my staff and me. Okay, so let's start. Who was the first United States president to die in office? William Henry Harrison. What is the second most abundant element on Earth and the principal ingredient of glass? Silicon. Which NFL team has won the most Super Bowls? Ah, the Cowboys. Which Canadian provenance is largest in population? Ontario. Sauerkraut is made from what Cabbage. vegetable? Who was known as the clown prince of the Harlem Globetrotters for 20 years? Like Lemon. On the TV series, The Six Million Dollar Man, who did Steve Austin report to? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, do you want to stop? You want to stop the clock? Okay. Yeah. All right. 36. You are awesome. Well, I screwed up the $6 million man question. All right. Let's see how Fred does. You only got two wrong. I won't tell Fred how you did. I'm going to keep Fred. I'm going to keep it a secret from you. All right. How Ken did. Let's just say good luck. I'm predicting him in ahead of time. Seven out of seven, around 30 seconds. All right. Well, That's my prediction. Here we go. 60 seconds on the Let's clock. You can pass and uh, this kind of thing. Pass. Okay. You pass? <laughs> you already pass, pass. Already? I pass. I forfeit. All right. Here we go. This is for $5,000 for Ken. You, Fred, yeah, can't I win get a dime. nothing, Ken. You get I've, nothing? Been, I've, been, I've been the winner of this thing for seven years straight. I get nothing. All, All right. right. Here we go. Who was the first United States president to die in office? Lincoln. What is the second most abundant element on Earth and the principal ingredient of glass? Silicone. Which NFL team has won the most Super Bowls? Dallas. Which Canadian province is largest in population? Ontario. Sauerkraut is made from what vegetable? Cabbage. Who was known as the clown prince of the Harlem Globetrotters for 24 seasons? Meadowlark Lemon. On the TV series, The Six Million Dollar Man, who did Steve Austin report to? Oscar. Do you want to stop? Goldman. Stop. Okay. Wow. Wow. That was nice. Wow. Holy shit. Look at that. I don't know how the hell this gets decided. We haven't gotten this deep into the rules. <laughs> you you clocked in at 36 seconds, Ken. Yes. Fred clocked in at 36 seconds. Yes. You tied on time. Yes. You tied on the amount of right answers. Gary, right. Um, is is this a a tie? It is. There are tiebreaker questions there. There are additional questions, uh, but I don't know how you do them. But I, I don't say, think I we say we give Ken the money. Here, here's what we I can, think we should we give him do. the money. We yeah. can write down our answer. You can say it. I'll write mine down. He'll write his down, and we'll just hold it. All right, up. right. Tiebreaker. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. If either of you guys know this, you're right. fucking genius. Right. Okay. Here we go. On what ship did Charles Darwin serve? as a naturalist during a five-year voyage in the 1830s. We're done, I think. Fred, is, hold up your answer first. What does it say? HMS Beagle. What does yours say, Ken? Also the Beagle. The Beagle, wow. Wow. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what did I do wrong in school that I don't know any of these answers? <laughs> I, I mean, what, what went wrong? Fred, you're impressive. HMS Beagle. Okay, second tiebreaker, because we're in a tiebreaker situation. I say let's leave it a tie. Yeah. Oh, Why? And have Keep a rematch going. Yes. Later. For, I, I could throw you one more idea, Howard. I could give you seven new questions, and we could play the game again. Really? Oh. I'm up. I'm, we got to get out of here sometime you today. Don't care? Whatever you guys want. I'm... So let's uh, try this again. Who did Helen Keller dedicate her autobiography? Annie Sullivan. The disposable razor blade, instead of the existing straight razor, was whose brainchild? Gillette. What positions make up the battery in baseball? Like pitcher and catcher. For more than 1,000 years, 794 to 1868, which city was the capital of Imperial Japan? Kyoto. A group of porcupines is called what? Uh, I don't know. Pass. Uh, what is the state bird of Texas? Meadowlark. 
What famous Wild West legend did Martha Jane Canary grow up to be? Or Canary? Calamity Jane. That's so Done. Passed. No, no, okay. I'm not right. going back. 35 seconds you're locked in on. So you got three wrong, but she did it in 35 seconds, which is a rapid time. It's quick. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel good. I think Fred's got this. You do? Yeah. Well, those are tough, but I think Fred's got this. All right. Let's see. All right. Fred, I'm not going to tell you again how Ken did. As you know, Ken is a Jeopardy champion. That Extraordinaire. <clears throat> you managed to tie him. Yes. Not only twice. The, twice. Here we go. Who did Helen Keller dedicate her autobiography to? Anne. Oh, fuck. I can't remember her last time. Go ahead. The disposable razor blade, instead of the existing straight razor, was whose brainchild in 1895? Gillette. What positions make up the battery in baseball? Oh, uh, the infield. Uh, the pitcher catcher. Uh, for more than a 1,000 years, 794 to 1868, which city was the capital of Imperial Japan? Kyoto. A group of porcupines is called what? A herd. <laughs> <laughs> what is the state bird of Texas? State bird of Texas, Roadrunner. Uh, what famous Wild West legend did Martha Jane Cannery grow up to be, or Canary? Annie Oakley. All right, do you want to go back to Stop. anything? Stop the clock. You're at 47 seconds. Our friend Ken did it in 35 seconds. He got it. And you got four wrong. He got three wrong. So he is the winner. He is the winner. He is very, the winner. Close. very close. Very close, I'm though, not I must embarrassed. Say. No, you're I'm embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. You should go, go hang your head in shame. Are you kidding? Go home. Why should you be embarrassed? Ken, what do you think? That was, um, no, he did great. That was amazing. Yeah, but you beat him, and you are Those more, were really, really tough questions. You are more arrogant than ever, aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> you beat Fred. This, you this won was, Fred's money. I gotta say, this was more exciting than winning all those games of Jeopardy put together, but I'm still humble. <laughs>